Hi everyone, I'm Mark Miklich. I'm the technical product manager for Small Character Technologies here at Squid Inc. Uh, today we're going to talk about our Jetstream CIJ printer. We'll be going over some of the features and benefits of this system. Okay, um, so the Jetstream is a small character CIJ printer. Uh, we can print on a wide variety of different products and substrates. You're all probably familiar with uh, the bottom of a can of pop, for example. That expiration date or date code is printed by uh, this type of system, okay? Uh, so we can print on <coughs> a wide range of products. Again, um, plastics, uh, glass, aluminum cans, metals, uh, chipboard, porous, non-porous substrates, uh, thanks to the nature of the inks that this system uses, they dry very quickly and they adhere very well to just about anything. Um, we can also print on a wide variety of surfaces. Okay, so you'll notice again the, the can of pop, for example, we've got this concave surface, this large indentation. Uh, thanks to the 1.2 inch throw distance of the jet stream, we can be pretty far away from our target and still get a nice clean legible code on it. Okay. All right, so let's see the system print really quick. So we've got a, a plastic container of disinfecting wipes, something I think we're all fairly familiar with. We're just gonna print on the bottom of this container. Okay, you can see this is a nice legible code. Uh, it's dry immediately and that's not gonna come off. Okay, you'll notice we can also print uh, in various orientations with the jet stream. Okay, so right now we're printing on the bottom of our product, so our print head is pointing straight up. We can print at virtually any angle. We can print uh, horizontal or vertical, so on the side or top down as well. We have three meter umbilical standard. We also have a four meter umbilical option, meaning you can get the print head far away from the controller and into tight spaces. All right, the system will print up to five lines of text. Uh, we just have a real basic two-line example here on the display, but it can do five lines of uh, characters on top of each other. We can print up to speeds of about a thousand feet a minute. So for those of you who have the high-speed production lines, you can be confident knowing we can keep up with your product. Uh, the Jetstream also has eight gigs of message storage, uh, which means you know it's virtually unlimited almost. You can fit thousands and thousands of different uh, print codes in the system. All right, one thing you'll notice uh, right off the bat is we've got this really nice 10.1 inch touchscreen display. It's very user friendly and easy to navigate. Uh, for example, if your operators needed to modify this code right now to access the editor. It's just the push of a button. And we can double click on any of these elements and change them. So the lot, for example, to change the lot code. It's as simple as that. We can download this data for printing. The system will ask if we want to save those changes, and that's it. We can back out of our editor you'll see our information has already changed and we would now print this data. So again, very straightforward for your operators to change any information or even to build a new message template. We go into the same field. To change a message, it's also just the push of a button. So if we click on this folder, it will take us to all the templates we've already created. And it's as simple as clicking on the message you want and selecting print and you'll see that that information immediately changes. So this is our new print job. It's also important to note that each individual message can carry its own specific print parameters with it. So if you're changing from one product to another that has different requirements, uh, maybe it's a different speed or different print location, the message will carry that data with it. So your operators don't have to do any other setup. All they have to do is select the message and it's ready to go for that product. One question uh, we always hear with CIJ printers is, what do my operators have to do from a day-to-day -day basis, from a maintenance perspective, uh, to make sure the system stays clean and to guarantee that I have the most uptime possible? Well, with the Jetstream, we ha uh, have what's called CleanJet technology. So it's just the push of a button, either at the beginning of the day or the end of the day. 
All your operators have to do is push start or stop jetting and the, op, the system will clean itself, okay? So we'll run makeup or cleaning solvent through all the uh, critical hardware components, especially in the print head. Uh, they will be flushed out automatically. We recover all of those fluids so we don't waste a drop. There's no mess and that guarantees that the system is clean, okay? So from a day-to-day -day basis, your operators don't have to do any manual cleaning of the print head or anything like that. Again, just push of a button. All right, from a preventative maintenance standpoint, uh, how often does the system actually need to be serviced? Uh, the jet stream only requires a PM once every 6,000 hours of actual runtime, okay? So for those of you who are running eight hours a day, five days a week, that's only once every roughly three years of actual production before we would service the printer, okay? The PM is very straightforward, very simple. The printer literally cleans itself out and we swap four filters in the system. Uh, it takes a matter of minutes, okay? Uh, to make that more convenient or more user-friendly, the hydraulic system actually slides right out the back of the printer, okay? So you can see even as the machine's running right now, we're able to move the core in and out. It is important to note that we do make uh, all of our inks and makeups for the jet stream. So you can be confident knowing you're gonna receive the correct formulation for your application directly from the source. We package our CIJ fluids in no mess, 750 milliliter cartridges. They slide right out of the printer. You can do this on the fly while we're actively printing like we are right now. And they can slide right back in. We've got a wide range of inks available. So we've got multiple different colors and multiple different formulations that will adhere better to different products. So again, uh, you can be confident knowing we'll have an ink that will work specifically for your application, okay? We also do not chip our cartridges. We don't use RFID tags or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about uh, chip issues or expiration issues of your cartridges. You can use every drop of fluid in each container. I would like to, to point out everything you see here uh, is available. So the, the hugger belt conveyor, the stand, and of course the printer are all items that we do offer. We have multiple printers in inventory ready to ship. Okay, so if you have an immediate need, uh, the turnaround is very, very short. Uh, we just had a large order heading to South America. We were able to get all of those systems out the door within 24 hours of receiving a PO. So a really quick turnaround, okay? All right, let's take a look at the system printing again. Uh, we've got some hand sanitizer here, uh, another product we're all probably uh, pretty familiar with by now. We'll go ahead and send this through. Okay, so we'll actually show you how easy it is again to shut this system down. So let's say we're at the end of the day, production's over, we just want to shut the system off and make sure it, it cleans itself. Again, it's as simple as pushing a button, so all your operators have to do is click stop jetting and stop jetting with cleaning and the printer does all the work for you. Okay, so again, it's going to clean itself out, it's going to shut the hydraulics down, it'll tell you when it's finished and you can just power the system off, simple as that. All right, thanks again for joining us today for our, our Jetstream demonstration. If you want more information on this system or any of our other products, please make sure you visit squidink.com. Thanks again.